Traditionally, sand is applied through a metal funnel called a chakpu. The sounds of the chakpu is according to traditional belief an expression of the Buddhist concept of emptiness or the interconnectedness of all forms of life. Because the mandala is explicitly based on a scriptural text, there is a little room for creative innovation during the process of construction. There is a good reason for the care and attention the monks put into their work in that they are actively imparting the Buddha's teachings. The purity of their motivation and the perfection of their work affords weavers maximum benefit. The sand is actually ground marble from the Himalayas. It is a fragile and delicate material. Before he is permitted to work on the mandala, a monk must undergo many years of technical and artistic training, memorizations, correct tantric initiations.
An intense degree of concentration and discipline is required of the monks. is to create the perfect sand mandala to alleviate the suffering of others. Samaja, the secret assembly, is one of the main deities of the highest yoga tantra, and the scriptures to which his practice is traced are the oldest known text of Buddhist tantra. <laughs> Samaja is known as the king of tantras not only because his texts are so ancient, but because they and their commentaries provide the key for understanding the vast range of tantric literature, which is generally cryptic and hard to penetrate. <laughs> The high regard in which this tantra is held by the Tibetan people can be judged by the extensive commentaries on it written by such masters as Jetsongkhapa. Concerning Guya Samaja, Lama Tsongkhapa wrote, The Anuttara Yoga Tantras are the highest teachings given by the Buddha. From amongst these, the most profound is that of glorious Guya Samaja, the king of all tantras. Understanding the sublime path of Guya Samaja bestows fearless, confident understanding of all the teachings of the Buddha.